Across Russia's heartland, the call to prayer echoes from a thousand mosques. Here in the Republic of Tatarstan, Islam is resurgent. After decades of Soviet repression, it's now officially encouraged, but carefully managed. In Kazan, the Tatar capital, Russia's first Islamic university trains a new generation of clerics. All of them are Russian Tatars and proud, like Karim. Religion is what's preserved our Tatar identity, he says. Now, when we talk about Tatar culture, we can talk about language and traditions, but Islam is its backbone. And Tatarstan is the backbone of Russia's Muslim revival, one which appears to uniquely blend modernity with tradition. Svetoslav and his wife Rosanna are a young couple from Tatarstan who believe they typify the region's religious tolerance. He was born an Orthodox Christian, she's a Muslim. Elsewhere in Russia, they say, mixed marriages like theirs are frowned upon, but not here. And they have the Tatar authorities, they say, to thank. I like it that our president tries to make things peaceful, and that's why there are no conflicts in Tatarstan. And why the authorities say Muslims and Christians here can live so easily side by side. In a world racked by religious division, the authorities in Tatarstan say this is a unique place where Christians and Muslims can live together in relative harmony and where an especially moderate brand of Islam has been embraced. But this Islamic revival has not come problem free. Elsewhere in Tatarstan, the authorities say they believe radical elements are gaining strength. We travelled to the eastern city of Naberezhny Chelny, a Soviet-era metropolis racked by post-Soviet fears of Islamic radicalism. It's here many independently-minded Tatars worship outside government-approved mosques and pay the price. Recorded by the Russian security services, this surveillance video shows Tatar Muslims under close observation. All were later arrested, then convicted of membership of a radical group. One of those detained was Raiz Skimadeev. He told me he was beaten by the police and denied food while in custody. Religious tolerance in Tatarstan, he says, is a sham. There is an Islamic revival, but there is also a fight against it, hidden under terms like the fight against terrorism or extremism. I have felt it myself. There are more cases of alleged harassment too, Erat Vakitov was once a U.S. prisoner in Guantanamo Bay, detained in Afghanistan, but released without charge to his native Tatarstan. Once home, he told me the authorities arrested and beat him, the kind of treatment meted out, he says, to many others. Now, some people see yeah, some people angry because uh, uh, their, their, their relatives in jail, their relatives have been tortured. They move people to, to become uh, radical. The authorities here deny any wrongdoing, saying Tatarstan's Muslims enjoy more prosperity and more freedom than ever before. But there is concern that having unleashed this Islamic resurgence, the Tatar authorities may yet struggle to contain it. Matthew Chance, CNN, Tatarstan.